Welcome back, everybody. Did you see that, Surter? Uh, it's supposed to reset me. Uh, game? New variant, hella go to shop. The game is a little frigga. Red Guardian copycat. Here we go. <laughs> I had to give it a second there. Poor server. Poor, poor server. So I was ranked 36 back to Iron 13. That's what it always says. You always lose like two, three ranks, I think, each season or something. It's, it's a ridiculous about amount. Uh, you should never drop down, in my opinion. The highest you ever go, you should stay. But the rank matchmaking sucks. They literally have a title for that. <laughs> there we go. Now it's transformed. That's a screenshot of... Yeah, you got Gore, you got Surtur, and Odin. Ooh, I didn't expect Odin to be here. And Fenris will be coming up. And who else? Oh, Malekith. I don't think this is Malekith, but this may actually be Malekith, but... Malekith, but I think it's Gore. 100% sure on that one. Malekith should look like an elf, as far as I know, from Marvel Heroes, so I think that's Gore on the side. Well, there's a new Heimdall pack. Oh, it's my favorite Asgardian. Erkante. Although, twice as Jihyo as Jane Foster Thor. It's one of the greatest things of all time. One of the greatest things of all time. Here it is. More insane expense of Jim Jacinto. A hundred dollar doom. Do not. Give you 10k gold if it gave you like 10k gold or something, maybe something, but you see 10,000 credits though. And this, though, I mean, this is a bottleneck. <laughs> I mean, I want to tell you how to spend your money, but Doomsday that's the thing, it only gives you one, two, it doesn't even give you 12. Unbelievable. This is actually not terrible for collector shards. I'm not gonna do that. This is actually not terrible. Hand Art Studio, dang, there's Fenris behind her, oh my goodness, that's amazing. I maybe shouldn't, but I'm totally probably going to yellow pick up Fenris. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's Hellfire Gala Rogue. Wait, this is Hellfire Gala Black Panther, wait, whoa, I just got Hellfire Gala. We're def I'm definitely going to get that rogue. Stroke the fire of competition with Surtur in the Premium Season Pass. Check it out now. Okay, I guess we will. We'll loop back to the, the Hellfire stuff in the shop. This is what you guys probably really want to see. What's Surtur all about? After you play a card with 10 plus power, this gains plus 3 power. Whoa! That sounds good. I don't know how helpful that will be, but that sounds amazing in high voltage mode. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing in high voltage mode. Uh, I believe Deadpool Diner is coming back this season, not high voltage. Uh, but that may be... We'll just see how I'm going to do videos. I may do them all in one video, and then just do shorter ones on request. But yeah, I didn't want to talk about the whole pass and everything. Because yeah, Deadpool Diner is coming back. I assume near the end of the month, but... Well, uh, I'll, I'll know no. I'll find out. Andrea Gardino. I don't know if I said that entirely right, but hopefully I did. Hopefully I did. So, Surtur. This is what base Surtur looks like. This is what most people's Surtur will look like. Eduardo, Melo, Ryan, Kennard. Classic duo. And then this is the paid one. Well, this is paid as well. But you could theoretically get this one for free in a month or etc. And look at all these goodies. Looks like standard goodies. Here's Odin. Standard goodies. Rolls and s'mores on Surtur. It's pretty hilarious. Odin. Also, Andrea. Gardino. Was it Andrea or Andrea? I don't know. Thor picture. Number one All Father. It's pretty hilarious. For, whoa, this, whoa. What? There's an album for Andrea Gardino now? Apparently, you're gonna check that out as well. 
Of course, Mr. Variant. All this stuff is standard. Standard booster things. I trusted Loki. <laughs> okay, that's an amazing title. That was tempting. That was tempting. The Loki show is one of my all-time favorites. So, so if you hear me eating my mic, that the sickness that shan't be named. Ooh, it's Surter's card back. That's super freaking cool. Ooh, that's super freaking cool. I don't know if I really need that, but that's super freaking cool. There are mutant variants and mutants you may not have coming up in this season. But I'll, I'll probably cover that pretty soon here. But let's look at Conquest. Well, let's look at Abnus Mode, because I know a ton of you guys play this. Lord of Goats. Okay, that's a little... I don't think I can even talk about the reference on this. We'll just say that represents greatest of all time. I don't think it does. Surter's from a fiery place. I'll just say that as a reference to that. A negative afterlife fiery place. <laughs> Surter. Omega rank reward. Very cool. Got the gold. You get the background of... Malekith? I assume that's Malekith. Did I look at the regular Malekith? Or did I accidentally... Oh yeah, the regular Malekith was right here. I guess I looked at this, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's gotta be Malekith. You know what's what's unfortunate? Why is Odin here? Like, I mean, I get it, it's Asgard, but there's already tons of Odin. Why isn't that curse? Where the heck is curse from Thor 2? He's one of the coolest freaking villains ever. He's one of my favorite Marvel villains. Like, in Marvel Heroes, curse would get smacked down all the time. Everyone would be attacking him. He was, he was pretty powerful, but you could power up and overcome him. Uh, but yeah, he had some of the best loot in the whole game. If not, if easily, arguably, the best loot. He gave you the extra crit chance. With one of his items he dropped. And that game was all about stacking crit, because it had a system called Brutal Strike, which critted the crit. Okay, now, back to Hellfire Gala, but let's find Gardinos, then. Oh, wait, Conquest. Let's not forget about this. This is, like, the main pull that I have, is Conquest mode. Because I really like the other mode. Oh my goodness, a Jane Foster Thor. Oh yeah, we're playing this season. Yes, I was just talking about Jane oh, Foster Thor G. Yeah, wait. I don't care if it's going to get claimed. I, I doubt it will be. I'm going to show her. I was just watching twice as Jiho's stuff. Twice Jiho. Jane Foster Thor. Manifested her mighty Thor cover. Her first look. Yes, here it is. Also, shout out to you. Shout out to Natalie Portman as well. But there it is. Twice as Jihyo's. Chin Foster Thor. Absolute champ champs of the K-pop world. Absolute champs. Very high up there. They're riding contention for winning tons of stuff. And I believe they're technically holding the record for Billboard. But I think that's just because of it's more popular now. There's just more people that know K-pop. Um, but, I mean, their their talent is quite incredible. I do prefer Girls' Generation, which obviously they're based on. There's nine Girls' Generation members, there's nine twice. So they stand on the, on the shoulders of giants, the Girls' Generation on First Generation, and then pre-First Generation. Um, obviously, this all leads up from Im jung -hwa and probably, I mean, probably even before her, but essentially the modern music style is Im jung -hwa, Boa, onward. Girls' Generation, FX... And, a G and they're off Wonder Girls. Because, yeah, they're, that, their company's Wonder Girls. JYP, Wonder Girls. Miss A. Yeah, and then it would just go to Twice. Yeah. And then branches off. Tons of branches off after that. But I like Enmix for later. But there's tons of them now. Oh, and, oh, and Itzy I mentioned as well. Enmix are on the shoulders of Itzy. And a few others. But Miss Ape is just hugely pop popular. So 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 was Wonder Girls. It's not talked about as much, but anyway. So yeah, there, there's my uh, K-pop reference. <laughs> it's what I do. But yeah, Jane Foster, Thor, and Marvel's Avengers. I actually have a, um gameplay of that. I believe I have one one gameplay of her. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more. Uh, absolutely awesome character. It's from Love and Thunder. Her look, super awesome. 
And this is actually by Mike... Oh, hopefully I don't butcher this. Diodato Jr.? And Frank Martin Jr.? Dude, Double Jr.? That's awesome. Double Juniors. Yeah, that's really great. Holy crud. Dude, Storm and... Dude, the, the Lightning. The Lightning Queens are showing up. Storm and frickin' Jane Foster Thor. <laughs> Excuse me, Jane Foster, the Mighty Thor. With her full Asgardian title. That's super awesome. At peace with Asgard for now. Frost gi Giants keep my drinks cold. There's just two titles? What? Does this change every freaking time? Why is there two titles now? There was three before. Why does this shop change consistency so often? Huh? I do like these titles. The other titles I didn't like at all. They were too arrogant for me. These titles I like. Like, at peace with Asgard, for now, we could totally run on my uh, Hella Discard deck. And Frost Giants keep my drinks cold. Like, you should have, like, for an Ice Man or something. It's really freaking great. Oh, just because this is showing the villains. Here it is. The Hella deck that I was talking about. Here comes the Fastball special. Oh, I used my X-Men references, but still, I could mix it up if I wanted. Also, my villains deck. A piece with Asgard for now. I might rock that in my villains deck. Doesn't this just have, yeah, Ballin' Out of Control? Yeah, and that one's, mm. Well, oh, no, those are here. Oh, actually, wait, this shows the new Groot. I never fired this guy up. Yeah, power him up. I need to go find my She-Hulk. I forgot to power them up, too. Last video. Animated. But that was all about uh, Storm. But yeah, I got the Mark Brooks Storm. Conquest mode is super, super, super hype. I wish she was still, like, a 3 cost. Oh, let, oh, while I'm here, let's, let's show off Frigga. Um, add a copy to the last card you played to your hand, if able. Oh, oh Frigga, this is, I believe, the mother of... Thor. And one of the wives of Odin. I think in MCU it is the wife of Odin, but in actual lore, Odin has several wives. Wives. Excuse me. And this insanely awesome copycat. So here it is. If you guys don't have copycat, this is a chance to get all the copycat. Red Guardian used to get played all the time. I think they kind of power creeped beyond him, but he can remove text. He's one of the few cards that could actually remove copycat's ability right here. See? He can actually re remove that. And here's Frigga, who's always friggin' awesome. Dang, dude. I but yeah, th I would have had this, oh no. Although it's good to show some heroes. But I just feel like this is a villain season. It's a month after Halloween. But I guess it does have Thanksgiving in it. So yeah, that would show some of that. But why not have Curse in the game? I don't know, maybe they have a plan for another Halloween event with Curse. Because Ishiki kind of should be a Halloween event. But it's just kind of weird. Copy of the last card you played to your hand, if able. Is this not going to fully break the game? How does this not just completely break the game? Oh my goodness, Pl I would play this in an Ashram deck. Oh my goodness, it'd be cheaper too. And you'd have the extra mana for the next turn. And just being in Ashram decks. Oh my goodness. I would, I would use the Nashroom deck. It's a way to keep consistency in it. Holy crap, this this might be insanely good. I don't know how much she'll do it. She's just a 3-3, three, three, but... You could spam out... Marvel Boy or something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You could have multiple Marvel Boys. But that sounds really good to me. If I, I would totally try that if I had it. That means she, could, she actually can make X-Genes. That's very tempting for me to unlock her. She can actually make more X-Genes. Technically, she can interact with an X-Gene. And also, they're showing copycat. Obviously, making multiple cop copycats is a thing. And, and the counters for Red Guardian. Oh my, it's this absolute nightmare. You can make multiple counter cards. That is so good. The problem with the counter card is I don't know if I'll have enough power, but his minusing that is really good. Let me know in the comment section down below how, how meta you think Frigga will be. Yeah, 
Yeah, let me know. That looks so cool. I really like just the space art. But I mean, this is such a cool copycat. I'm so tempted, but I don't know. I think I should save it for mutants, because yeah, surely they'll have a brotherhood season, right? I can't believe they haven't in two years. Not at a brotherhood season. They're missing so many of them. But especially Toad and Pyro. But what, are they going to have like Toad Pyro curse or something? Just like Rando Villain? I don't know. Also, Red Guardian is an insanely awesome character, especially if it's looking him from MCU. That's <laughs> super fun. Come on. Yeah, I probably should get a hold of Red Guardian if I actually want to be super meta, but... But I'm just saving for mutants. Come on, next gene. Well, and Fenris. Okay, that was Gambit. <laughs> My favorite male. Marvel character, heck yeah. Ooh, Iron Fist. That's cool. An Avatar is rare. Okay, now I'm going to go She-Hulk, and then we're going to look at these albums. Well, yeah, probably the albums. Yeah, you probably care about them more than the store. But here it is, She-Hulk. Ooh, let's show her green first. I think she looked great purple as well. Ooh, actually, sure background. I really like the orange of her background. Like, where the heck is she in the Hellfire Gala? <laughs> huh? The background is very strange there, but I'll take it. I mean, she's just slaying just at random places, apparently. <laughs> well... Oh, I adore her. I adore her default outfit. I kind of wish I had the Fantastic Four her. I remember seeing a comic of that in the store. It was so popular, it's just in a regular, like, Walmart. Back in the day... Ooh. Wait, how do you get so many of these? Huh? Oh, because you can... Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is a clap! They need to update all of them to be like this. Update all of them. Yeah, everyone should have bonus variants. Add that to every single one. Oh my god, oh my god I'm one off. I'm one off this cool gold metallic. Shout out to Thor. That's awesome. I should have enough random Thors to get something. My rando baby Thor helps. I almost never use this disturbing it disturbs me but yeah this is actually a conquest one that's wild the conquest cards actually matter oh and here's the new Andrea Gardino so that's awesome too so you're gonna get a, bo a double bonus for Gardino yeah is he just the bonus ones now that's why I showed them in an album yeah see why isn't there a bonus one for Venom I thought I don't know how many variants he has And here's Dream 1. This does have a rogue, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'll probably pick that up at some point, but... Oh, uh, because, yeah, if there's eventually going to be a rogue and gambit one. So, yeah, just be collecting. I would suggest just saving this up and collecting your favorite hero as much as you see them. Because eventually, they're going to be added in. You already showed this off, but while I'm here. While I'm here, because these are ultra-popular characters. show this one off. Yeah, Alex Ross. Thor. Super awesome. Also kind of reminds me of Marvel's Avengers, the video game. How prominent they're having the electrical parts. Ooh, you do have a bonus of the horror him as well. So some of you guys may have that. That's going to really help. That's just super cool, man. A lot of neat variants. And then that one again. Awesome. I actually have these two. I think I randomly got this one. Or was this a Twitch drop? I don't even remember. Dude, shout out to the bonus one. Tip of the hat. To the, that is what they should do. I've been requesting this for like two years. <laughs> I'm glad they have one. Although the system isn't quite that old. But I've essentially been requesting the system that long done with every single card, which they're still not doing, but they're getting there. So yeah, way more value. But let's see what I get in Hellfire Gala. It's my it's my personal second favorite one, because mutants. We added a lot of freaking Wolverine, too.
Not quite enough to get this cool one, though. Where the emails? I need... I would love to have some emails. It's also why I want to get tons of rogues and gambits. But yeah, I passed up on this Hellfire rogue like two, three times, but now I'm going to get it with this system actually implemented. I can get a bonus. I can get a Captain Marvel avatar picture, which is, which is flipping awesome. See, so yeah, I could get that one. So yeah, you can randomly get these, too. But yeah, I've seen a lot of these ones around, though. And I, I just passed some at the time, because I like to have more than 10k. Although, if I'm barely going to drop and I know I'm going to play the game, I will drop down under. But like, 10k packs are still possible. I thought they might creep beyond it, but no, I think they're kept within. But yeah, this Captain America was just really freaking awesome, too. So I can get Panther here, which I don't... Oh, I do. I have my Dan Hip Panther. That's so so cool, though. Well, maybe I can switch between the two, but I don't... It's very difficult to ever beat that Panther. <laughs> Unless there's actually a Civil War one. Which is my favorite local Panther. But Marvel's Civil War. But let's have none of that. None of that action. It's just the name of a movie. Everyone be kind to one another. And, how many is this? Actually, a bishop I don't have. But, ah, look at all the bishops I, I randomly have. Well, this one I got, like, twitch drops, but... These other ones are all full random. Free to play, by the way. Let's pick them up. Oh, this is a thing, too. Oh, discard. Legendary! I got a legendary two cost. Oh, I could get that... I could 100% get it with that combo. Epic! It's a little silly to run that, but <laughs> I, I get if it tells me to use mutants, I'm gonna use mutants. Not always though, but it's early in the season pass, so I can goof off. Oh, here's the other bishop as well. But yeah, this actually gives me summons, so I'm gonna go for it. It's like there's like never, yeah, there's like never any sale here. I don't even think this is a bonus, does it? No, there's only three super rares of what's shown. That, but yeah, if I was, like, super into modding, I would totally make Jane Foster Thor look like that twice as Jigyo. <laughs> Wait, actually, Panther said ladies first. <laughs> also, R.I.P. Oh my goodness. Now, I have the Jim Lee here. That's also why I haven't gotten this one, but I love the dark lip. That is just adorable. Also, she's classy and sassy. Mahmoud Azrar and Matthew Wilson. Hopefully I said that right. Oh, don't I have Rogue in several decks? I believe I do. Let's just claim that one. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I have Rogue in several decks. And let's go. Yeah, I'll still be above, technically. Yeah, there's less gold that the game gives away, though, which is not cool. Conquest mode should always give away at least 200 gold. It doesn't anymore. We'll just set this one as. That's the top one, because that's cool. I do really like the Dan Hip one, though. Well, that's the cool part. You can just switch and exchange whenever you want. And Captain Marvel avatar picture. Heck yeah. This might be one of my favorite Captain Marvels. Although, I, sp I miss Marvel hers. It's dear to my heart. <laughs> you cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky lady. Oh, Cersei is so good. Cool Typhoid Mary. Cersei can be in some Infinity decks, although she's totally random, so keep that in mind. But in a way, you can get ability for free using her extra ability power. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably be showing off these new cards. I think that just about does it. Oh, let's... And then, how long is this video? 24 minutes. Oh, we're already super long. We might as well deep dive. Also, yeah, remember to get this armor variant. There's still two weeks. Everyone who logged in should get it. And here's all the goodies I got. Come on, X jeans. C Carnage. Silk. Celine. There's yes, 45 for Celine. Yes. That's a hard to level up X gene. I use her all the time. Very hard to level up. And then Thanos demanded attention. There is news. Oh, the new news isn't out yet. What? 
What? The new video is out. It'll be in the description down below. This is saying the new video is not out yet. It is 100% is out. What? I'm going to their website. It's fully not up yet. What? Because they, they do take a little later to get out the stuff. I even waited like an hour. Yeah, sort of season's here, so it's going to be abrasively bright. Because the dark one's not out yet. But I don't know, I just feel like covering this now. Our news, our newest character is a fire giant created by the legendary cosmic beings and destined to clash with your favorite Asgardians. Will this new ability bring out Ragnarok? Who no, no, because Curse isn't here. <laughs> Who knows, but you can definitely use it to crush your opponents. Here's the new pay-to-win goodness. <laughs> Although she can be gotten for free. But Surtur's pay-to-win right now. I don't know how effective his pay-to-win will be, but... Surtur may be the leading member of the group. But he's going to need some help if he's to conquer all fans in the Nine Realms. Let's welcome the rest of the band to the stage. This supposed to be a band? What? He doesn't have his, his best boy -y curse? What? <laughs> What? We got Frigga, Malekith, Fenris, Gore. This is their name. I don't think it's a deity, but I'm just going to say it. The God Butcher. That's what they say. Double score, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, King Etri. Oh, this guy's going to be good. I think in the video you can see what King Etri does. Hopefully, they'll explain what these cards do. Dude, they get ultra lazy. They're not explaining what the cards do? But isn't that like a first time ever? Okay, well, I may do a follow-up video then if the other one comes out and explains these cards. But yeah, they're often discard related. You can see what they do in the video, but I'm not going to show another person's video and take away their views. I'll go. You can go watch the Marvel Stamp official video. That is so absurd. I can't even tell you guys what their ability is. Well, had I known that, I would have freaking looked it up. Wait, actually, forget. No, forget. I bet they're already in this. Marvel Snap. Frigga. Well, Frigga we know. Frigga I just showed you. Let's go over it one more time. Just in case you guys, like, skipped ahead, which is totally okay. Add a copy of the last card you played to your hand, because it doesn't say it there. But I bet there's something for... What's what's their name? Malekith. Malekith. I guess it's so spelled. Yeah, see, they have them up here already. Because, yeah, these are known freaking abilities. I can't believe they didn't show it. Four, six. On reveal, add a one, two, or three cost card from your deck here. It reveals at the end of the game. That's... That's interesting. I'm not sure how you really use that. He's still technically a quick way to get ma um, power out, though. Oh, what if you did Hulkbuster? Ooh. That's a three cost. One or two. I mean, Ice Man could still do his thing, although it wouldn't do anything. Like, that's the thing. Tons of abilities would do nothing final turn. I'd wonder when they reveal... You can download the full art. I don't even know you can do that here. Fenris Wolf. I guess I'll just switch this. Yeah, that's the whole point of the deep dive, is for you guys to know this stuff. Come on now. But yeah, Fenris Wolf, I'm not I'm a huge like the kind of wolf animal fan. It's an activate card? Resurrect the highest power discarded or destroyed enemy card to your side of the field. It's an activate card. That's interesting. So, if you use, if you play him final turn, he will do nothing. So you can't play him final turn, dude. You can actually. Oh my goodness! You can copy Fenris with friggin' and have the two wolves like in the actual Norse lore. Oh my goodness. To chase the moon, is it? Or one chases the sun, the other chases the moon? 
It's, it's been a bit since I looked that stuff up. That is so freaking awesome. Also, like, the God of War new games um, kind of talk about that a bit, too. But, like, that's its, that's its own lore, though. Gore. Come on, now. I like Friendless Wolf. Also, that's a two cost, and my deck is missing a two cost. Oh, yeah. My main deck is missing a good two cost in it. Although, there's Morbius. Morbius is solid. He's actually extremely meta and, and Infinity, if used correctly. But I don't have that deck. I'm missing some pieces of it. I'm just going to search Fenris again for no reason. No score. It's Christian Bale. Find him. <laughs> there he is. No, he clearly is pre-nerfed. He's an insanely powerful card. Clearly pre-nerfed. Ongoing plus two power for each on-reveal card in play. He's an ongoing on-reveal. That's awkward as frick. I'm not sure how meta he'll be, but he's clearly quite meta, or else he wouldn't have minus one him. That means he must be pretty busted. I only show the alternative art there, too. I just let me know if you want to see that from each one. Okay. So there, now we know what they do, but this, except for this guy. This guy, I remember his ability being extremely good. I believe you get him from Deadpool Diner, so we'll see if I can even do that. Our next hammer wielding character is available exclusively through Deadpool's Diner. That's not actually true, he's going to be gettable elsewhere. From November 21st to December 3rd, King... At three. Wait, they have this going on during Thanksgiving, most likely? What the heck? King Etri can be earned by winning a major pile of bubs. Miss out, and you'll have to find King Etri in the token shop as a Series 4 release starting December 5th. Want more info on Deadpool Diner? Keep reading below. Uh, we did not say what he is to hype up at all. It's like they're going to change his abilities, but I don't think they are. Is that how you spelled it? Spell it? Yeah, he's a one cost. One, two, activate. He's, yeah, he's another activate card. That's what I was super hyped about him. Also, they may be changing these abilities. Uh, abilities. I'm not sure, but this website will update if they do. Draw a card that didn't start in your deck. So yeah, this is really good with Jane Foster, Thor, etc. So yeah, my Asgard deck. Let's hype. Um, you could also... Oh my goodness, it's Asherim. No, he, it's completely broken. It's completely broken, Asherim. Use, use him and Friggin and Asherim deck, I bet could be really freaking good. Oh my goodness, you just have this guy pulling all your cards. So you actually find the, the good ones. Oh my goodness, it's so overpowered. I don't have an Asherim deck to show that off with, but I, I knew Asherim would be extremely overpowered. Um, or I had a high chance it would be, but... Oh my goodness. Anyway, there you go. So, what can you expect? New cards? You can expect new cards to be released weekly. Starting with Agent Venom, releasing on November 5th. So you got Venom, Frigga. The 12th is Malekith. The 19th is Fenris Wolf, so yeah, that's hype. I'll probably gain extra ones for Fenris Wolf by then. November 26th is Gore and The Butcher. So that means Conquest Mode, I need to like, take it pretty seriously, because Deadpool Diner is showing up. And then generally I ignore the play mode. I bring it to like silver or something. Unless there's something I really want from it. New series four and series five card appear in the spotlight catch and token shop. As you level up your blah 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 blah. There you go. Oh what about the new locations? Oh wait, wait, wait. No, no, I should show this off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Valentina. I will probably pull for Valentina as well. Um what did Matt? I will probably pull for Valentina as well, most likely, because she can give you a mutant. Although I might not. We'll just have to see how many tokens I have. I mean, I have enough to do it. But yeah, Werewolf and Anihilus. Missing both these. Fenris Wolf is so awesome. I'm tempted to go for that Fenris Wolf as well. I 
And then if you guys don't have Havoc or Legion with Gore, another chance to get a hold of them. Yeah, these are odd. I don't really need that other art. No, in my opinion. Brand new location, Valhalla. After turn four, cards here repeat their unreveal abilities. Valhalla, this is the um, afterlife for warriors in Norse mythology. And here's Yggdrasil. After each turn, give all cards at another location plus one power. Hopefully I'm saying these right. Yggdrasil. This is like... Essentially, doesn't this help bring life and magic to all the nine realms? If I recall, it's like a null space. It's in between the other spaces, or at least this has been described. Yeah. And it can do all sorts of magical stuff with its roots and whatnot. And, um... Some lore give it, like, a whole... Kind of... Like, animal life that lives in the realm with it. An ecosystem. Okay, did I pull diners back? I've probably already read this. Wait, no, this is different. It's time to dust off your bubs, because Deadpool's diner is back with more high stakes action. This is just a terrible game mode. Oh my goodness, I hope they've changed it. It's the worst game mode in the game. High voltage is the best game mode. I wish it was always around and gave all the rewards for all the modes. Uh, in my opinion. And then Deadpool Diner, but. Oh no. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I got, like, everything but the final reward in Deadpool Diner. Like, I did quite well. And I still think it's garbage. A garbage game mode. It makes you play it too much, and also you can theoretically play it and have no gain. And also, it's de facto, um... Putting money in. I don't want to say the words. It was probably, probably gonna be not good for this platform if I do. But yeah, it's essentially you're playing in action, putting income in, getting nothing in return. That's not cool. There's special words for that. And it has to do with casinos and whatnot. I'll just say that. Anyway, my poor voice is going, sorry. If you're new to Diner, don't worry. There's always an open seat at the table, and everyone will get the same amount of bubs to start playing immediately. Yeah, n no. <laughs> Yeah, only at the very, only at the very beginning. Does, that's so, that's so misleading. You're like, everyone gets the same. It's not even necessarily true. They can immediately spend currency to get the bubs. Gold, which also could be real life currency to get more bubs right after. It's absurd. <laughs> everyone technically does start equal, but what if you miss day one? It's not. It's not equal. And also, it's every eight hours. That's what drives me bonkers. Just three times these stuff and make it every 24. There's multiple game modes in the game. So I essentially have to stop playing Conquest to play this one and ramp up my play playtime exponentially. It's wild as frick. Although no one actually has to do anything. But it heavily inclines you to do that with how the system is made. And guess what? That's how these jet devs make their money. It's play hours. <laughs> Generally, that's how they keep their job. It's Well, it's how they keep their job. De then de facto making money. Here at Deadpool's Diner, each table requires a set amount of bubs. It's not how it should be. You should never be able to go down, too. It destroys the matchmaking. No one should ever go back down, either. To bet before you play. They just, they just said it. They just said the word. Win at each table. And you'll keep moving up to bigger plates with more risk. And bigger rewards. Yeah, see, this is why they say this. Because essentially, you could throw actual currency. Actual currency. At this, which then is this word, de facto. Because you can literally have a diminishing return on currency given. I do not do that. And especially do not and especially if you're going to do it, you only use extreme excess. I'm talking about oh like you're set for over a year and stuff, like extreme excess. But just do not do it, in my opinion. But it's your life. You can do what you want to do. Make your way all the way up to the biggest plate. And you'll unlock the newest card. King Etri. Also, it's once again a one cost. It's not very inspirational when it's just a one cost, but... And an exclusive Jane Foster 
Andrea Gardino variant. Now that is cool. This I don't know if I'll get. I don't think I got the variant. I think that's what I was missing was a variant for my Cassandra Su -su -su Supernova. Oh, it's actually not the Cassandra Supernova one. Let's call me the villain. Here we go. Oh yeah, I could use the Surtur background for this. Call me the villain. Part my new Taskmaster, apparently. There you go. 3D. This deck got nerfed, but I still wonder if it's Infinity. But it uses counters, so I just don't like to use counter decks. But yeah, and these have got some nice cards for Discard and Ashram. Anyway, I think that... Yeah, I don't think we can see what this is. The game... Games inside Deadpool's Diner will be outside of the typical ladder games. Yeah, there's, so there's no risk to your ranking. It's a huge risk to your time. Just to your stack of bubs. And maybe the risk of your... Pie exploding. What? Maybe don't need the pie. <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. It's gotta be a Deadpool joke. This mode is all about taking big risks. So play it cool and get your free rewards. Now, the ups what I do like about this game mode is people almost never retreat in it. Because it's just a full defeat if you do that. That I like. But yeah, you have to win tons of matches in a row. And I just don't know with the power creep that's going on. This game's power creep is worse and worse and worse each month that comes out, it seems like. Maybe there's some balance patches to pull it back a bit, but not really. Brand new variants and stuff. Yeah, we just showed that off. The four one. Absolutely awesome. Trippy new Vincenzo Riccardi. I'm not sure how you Vincenzo Riccardi. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, it's dropping November 12th. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'm not offending anyone with that, but yeah, I'm not sure. Oh my sister this a new death? Oh I'm I'm down for that. These thousand collector cards, silver surfer emotes. The Silver Surfer emotes is just hilarious. <laughs> He's such a, such a normally emotionally under control character that him doing emotes just cracks me the frick up. I remember in the 90s animated cartoon, he would kind of be like that though. Because yeah, he humanized after. Even heroes get hungry. Keep them all well fed with these amazing new variants from Wild Blue. Launching on November 26th. Oh, so this isn't it. Oh, that's not a Twitch drop. Excuse me. I don't think so. Click three. Yeah, that's a new uh, Wild Blue. I did want to see more Wild Blue art. That's awesome. I mean, look at that. That's just super cool. Oh, this dude one I feel like people are going to use all the time. Oh, here's Shop. Shop takeovers. Only 24 amazing art pieces filling up the stuff. What better way to capture Finn's... Vincenzo Riccardi. I'm not sure how you say the double C's. I'm not sure. Um, epic art style. Been filling the shop with all of their art at once. Don't get all tripped up racing to get these. You'll have two days from November 12th to 13th to find the right variants for you. No, you have one day each time. They're going to be different variants. Juggernaut. Dude, I was seeing incredible play from Juggernaut. If you haven't seen last freaking video, Juggernaut is so is top tier. If used right, you have to really know what you're doing. Ooh, I see mutants. What better time to fill your plate than the end of November? Show your friends and family the foods you're thankful for with Wild Blue Food Variant Takeover. From November 26th to the 27th. Oh, look at Double Dinosaur. And of course, Beast says his teeth. Huh. And they gave Leech lollipops for some reason. He's a kid. Yeah, that's how powerful his mutant abilities that happened before. Other stuff. And there's just a generic super lame twist drop. It's just purple. There's not even a... There's just a one, too. 19th to the 25th. I didn't freaking remember that. 
mean, set freaking timers for that. But anyway, thank you so so much for watching. This is still a free purple. This is like a worth seven plus bucks, maybe even ten counting these. I mean, it's still awesome they're giving away. Shout out to them. But yeah, it's just that's super hype. It was just a random game. But you know what? That could be the best thing for my account. That could be a Jim Lee. That could be a Jim Lee variant. I think. It's only purple. I don't. I think all Hellfires are gold, so I don't think it can be them, but... You never know. You get something really awesome. That you never even knew you wanted. This happened to me. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Twice g -Hyo. Yes. The true. Jane Foster Thor. This is always what I imagine my... Chain Foster Thor looks like. Although, Natalie Portman. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm OG. I mean, I've seen episode one in theater. Uh, I'm OG. Natalie Portman. She is the queen as well. <laughs> it's just up to you what you want to do. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, and speaking of a queen. Hello there demands attention as well, apparently. Uh, let's just end up with, uh, speaking of another queen. Frigga, the new card. See you next time, everybody. Later. And obviously, Surter, but I'm going to forget the shout out. But she's completely awesome. Shout out to MCU actress, her. Did absolutely incredible. But I think this video is long enough. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you want any of this stuff in shorter form. Or perhaps even further detail. See you next time, everybody. Later.